What is your position concerning doctors, dentists, using natural health methods, uh, you know, brushing your teeth, exercise, nutrition? Okay, first off, uh, we don't con, you know, comment really on doctors and that kind of stuff, generally speaking. We have said some things. But um, honestly, for me, it's, and, and what's amazing to me is that people ask me these things. They ask, what's my position on doctors and dentists and things? It's like, why do you care what my position is? It's, it's you. You've got to live with it. And if you know what I know, then you might think like I think. But if you don't know what I know, then you can't take my answer. That's right. You know, you, you, you try to live by secondhand revelation, you can die. So you have to get a hold of things for yourself, you know, to know that that's yours. And so I generally don't contact or comment on it. Now, I will tell you this, especially when it comes to like doctors and dentists or whatever. Come on. According to your faith, be it unto you. Whatever you want to do, that's between you and God. And, you know, that, 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 that's up to you. Now, as for, you know, whatever you need, I tell people all the time, whatever you need, use whatever you need, you know. Now, if you don't need it, don't use it. You know, if you don't need a doctor, don't go to one. But if you need one, if you need one, go to one. Now, the, what that means is this. Now, I understand, see, my doctor is Jesus. Come on. Okay? Amen. He's the great physician. Now, it wasn't always that way. And, you know, and I remember the groups that I was around. There was a time when going to doctors and stuff, oh, you know, you, you weak faith. Yeah, you know, you need more faith. And it's like, well, you know what? So what? You know, you need, you're growing, you're wherever you're at, use what you need, uh, you know, and, and honestly, you know, whatever goes on, give credit to God, amen, because doctors, the best they can do is kind of put your, in a, your body in a position where it can heal itself, and God created the healing ability of your body to do that. He put that in us, so I'm not against them. I think they've kept a lot of Christians alive, okay? Uh, when it comes to dentists, yeah, I mean, now I will tell you this. Of all the areas that we have seen results, and we've seen every part of the human body healed, and I mean, literally every type of disease and everything, I could, you know, it, we, we've seen it all, put it that way. And now, in the beginning, eyes, eyes, and teeth were the biggest, or, or let's say, it was the area where we saw the least results. And that bugged me. And so, you know, you start going after the things that bug you. And so then we started seeing better results. When we started seeing actually some miracles with teeth and stuff. But that doesn't mean that, you know, teeth don't need cleaning. <laughs> All right? It says, you know, because they asked, you know, about brushing teeth. Okay, here's my answer. Please do. <laughs> Please. Especially if you're going to be in my healing line. <laughs> Please. Please. Please do. All right? Uh, and I understand a lot of people don't want to use the chemicals that are in the different... I get that. But there are natural <laughs> things you can use, right? And I don't know, you don't even have to... Well, you still have to buy them somehow, but I'm not even talking about formulated stuff. It's just stuff like that, you know? I'll tell you another one. Deodorant. Good idea. <laughs> Good idea. It's okay. God bless the man or woman or whoever it was. It was probably a woman. <laughs> that invented it for a man. That's probably what it was. That's probably how it happened. But anyway, uh, so please just, you know, do I believe in exercising? Yeah, I believe in it. You know, like most people believe in the Bible. I know about it. I just don't practice it. So, um, but uh, exercise, nutrition. It's funny because my wife was talking to um, some workers that came out because our bedroom, bathroom area got flooded. And so... Uh, she was, we were two of the young men that came out. She was talking to them, and she, which is it's so funny because how she, I mean, she told them what I do, but then she turned and we started talking about different things, and they were bodybuilders. And so we started talking about fitness and bodybuilding and nutrition, that kind of stuff. And she just kind of turned around and goes, Yeah, and you know, he's like a doctor in nutrition. And I'm like, Most people would never guess that about me because I don't. <laughs> It's like, you know, a doctor that tells you, hey, quit smoking. You need to not smoke. It's not good for, you know, and they're sitting, you know. That's kind of because I, you know, it, I know a lot more about this stuff. I just don't talk about it because I don't practice it. And like I said, if I don't do it, I'm not going to preach it. Yeah. Simple as that. Now, I'm trying, you know, I'm, and there's stuff I won't eat. I just, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a texture type person. If, 
Mm -mm, there's things I won't eat, right? I mean, it can be pretty, it can smell good, but if it looks like it's got that texture, mm -mm, no. Grilled onions, mm -mm, never, never. When I see a grilled onion, I think tapeworm. I'm not kidding, that's just, no, I can't do it. Just can't do it, okay? Um, you know. And then my wife says, oh, he eats onions. He just don't know it because she blends them all up and I can't tell it. And that's, that's fine as long as I don't have to chew on that thing. I can't, uh -uh, no, I couldn't do it. Um, but, so, but, you know, when it comes to nutrition and stuff, yeah, I, I take vitamins, supplements, different things, not as often as I should. You know, I ought to do it regular. I don't do it as regular as I should. But I know these things. I just don't practice them like I should. So, yeah, should you? Yeah, no matter, almost no matter how you eat today, if you don't supplement, you're not getting the nutrition you need. Just from the natural food, you know, the foods as they are today have very little nutrition. Even the organic stuff doesn't have this. Why? Because the earth doesn't have the nutrition in it to give it. And why? Because the earth has pretty much been robbed of all that stuff. So, you know, it's, uh, and that's why they're making fake meat and, there's just something wrong about that. That's just wrong, you know? <clears throat> so anyway, uh, that's, that's where I stand on these things. Listen, do what you need to do till you get to a place where you don't need to do it. I mean, and if you don't need it, don't do it, right? Just that simple. And, and honestly, uh, you can live free of those things. You can live in divine health. You can live, and you know, even though I don't eat right, I live in divine health. Now, that violates the laws of nature, but at the same time, it does not violate the laws of heaven. Now, at the same time, I tried to eat better, like with my supplementation, and I really would like to get, I don't know why I'm telling you this, you don't, you probably don't care and don't want to know anyways, but uh, if I could find, and I think I have, but I'm not, I'm not trying to sell you anything, so I'm not going to tell you what it is, <clears throat> but if I could find, and I think I have, the... A, a, a mix, like a powder mix, because that's what I need when I go on the road, because it's easier than stopping and eating and doing all this stuff. If I could find something I could live off of and not have to eat, I would love that. Because just to mix it, drink it, and go. I mean, I, you know, listen, I blend, I blend all kinds of stuff. I, I blend uh, vegetables. See, I don't eat that stuff, but I'll drink it. Yeah, because I'm not going to chew it, but... I will drink it. And I can drink anything. I mean, I don't, I don't care. Hey, listen, if you can drink apple cider vinegar, you can drink, exactly, you can drink anything. I'm telling you. So, you know, I always tell people, why, why do you drink? You know, you smell alcohol. It's like, oh, man, how can you drink that? Well, it's an acquired taste. And I'm like, well, who wants to acquire it? That's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid to eat something. You've got to acquire a taste. And then I started doing apple cider vinegar. I'm like, there it is. I'm a... Walking contradiction. That's a, you have to, that, well, that's where it's not totally true because actually you never really acquire a taste for apple cider vinegar. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it, it will be bad till the last day you take it if you ever do it. But, but it's supposed to be really good for you. It has to be. It's so bad. It has to be good. Otherwise, there would be no purpose for it on earth at all. And no one would do it. So anyway, um, so I guess that answers the questions about doctors and dentists and all that kind of stuff. Just, you know, do what you need to do and don't get in bondage over it. And listen, you don't have to run and ask everybody about everything. All right? I mean, some things you just between you and God. And if you do it and, you, and it doesn't feel right, don't do it. And if you do it and it's okay at this point, now that, work, that level of understanding works as long as your conscience is sensitive. But if you have seared your conscience in any area, then that measure that I just gave you won't work for you. Why? Because your conscience is already seared to that, so it wouldn't bother you, and God can't tell you it's not right because you've seared yourself to it. So that only works if you're tender toward God and tender and sensitive to his spirit.